Hey there, I am Marok Said, a microbiologist and a science educator. Science is my passion and I'm here to share it with you. On virology topic on oncogenic viruses. But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button. Let's begin with the brief introduction of this topic. Viruses are microscopic intracellular pathogens that rely on living host cells to replicate and employ the cellular machinery to generate new viral particles. The process of viral replication can lead to alterations in the host cell's genes, potentially contributing to the development of cancer. Oncoviruses are a category of viruses capable of inducing cancer. Approximately 20% of all human cancer cases are attributed to viral infections. While numerous viruses can induce tumors in animals, there are currently only 7 viruses known to be associated with human cancers and classified as oncogenic viruses. So let's begin with the table of content. Introduction Hepatitis B virus and Hepatitis C virus Kaposi Sarcoma associated herpes virus, Merkel cell polyoma virus, human papilloma virus, human T cell lymphotrophic virus type 1, Epstein Barr virus, and lastly, mechanisms of viral oncogenesis. Let's begin with the introduction of this topic. These viruses encompass the hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus human papilloma virus, heptastein bar virus, human herpes virus 8, Merkel cell polyoma virus, and human T cell lymphotrophic virus type 1. Hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus are responsible for roughly 80% of hepatoma cellular carcinoma, the most prevalent form of liver cancer. High-risk human papilloma virus strains are the primary culprits behind cervical cancer as well as other anogenital nasoplasms and a significant portion of head and neck tumors. Epstein-Barr virus is linked to nasopharyngeal carcinoma, Hodgkin lymphoma and Brutskid lymphoma. Human herpes virus 8, also known as capsosis, Sarcoma-associated herpes virus is the cause of Kaposi's sarcoma, which is frequently observed in individuals with acquired immunodeficiency syndromes (AIDS). Merkel cell papilloma virus is responsible for Merkel cell carcinoma, while human T cell lymphoteric virus type 1 is the agent responsible for adult T cell lymphoma. Now let's dive into the hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus. Hepatitis C virus and hepatitis B virus have the potential to initiate liver infections, which in certain cases may progress to liver cancer. These viruses are typically contracted through the sharing of needles for medical injections, engaging in unprotected sexual activity, or receiving a transfusion involving contaminated blood. Medical professionals employ medication to treat hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus infections. Hepatitis C virus infections can often be successfully cleared with several months of treatment. While the medication doesn't provide a cure for hepatitis B virus, it can significantly reduce the risk of liver damage and the development of liver cancer. A vaccine is available for the prevention of hepatitis B virus, but there is currently no vaccine for hepatitis C. Those at a heightened risk of hepatitis B virus transmission, such as individuals with HIV, individuals who use illicit injections, or healthcare workers, should consider getting vaccinated. If you have reached till here, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Next, Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus. It is a herpes virus that has the potential to induce Kaposi sarcoma, a cancer 
affecting blood vessels as well as two forms of lymphoma. Risk of developing cancer due to this virus is heightened in individuals with compromised immune systems resulting from factors such as organ transplantation, undergoing chemotherapy, or having AIDS. Transmission of the virus can occur through sexual contact as well as with the introduction of blood and saliva. Next, Miracle Cell Polyoma Virus It is a prevalent virus that can infect the skin. Typically, it remains asymptomatic and does not result in cancer. However, in certain individuals, this virus can trigger a rare form of skin cancer known as Miracle Cell Carcinoma. Next virus is Human Papilloma Virus. This virus comprises a collection of over 200 viruses with approximately a dozen known to have the potential to cause cancer. The transmission of human papilloma virus primarily occurs through vaginal or anal sexual contact. In many cases, human papilloma virus infections spontaneously clean up and do not result in any health issues. However, some individuals may remain infected. Persistent infection with cancer-causing human papilloma virus strains can lead to various cancers including those of cervix, vulva, vagina, penis, anus, tonsil, or tongue. Human T-cell lymphotrophic virus type 1 Human T-cells lymphotrophic virus type 1 targets T-cells, a subset of white blood cells, and has the potential to induce leukemia and lymphoma. This virus can be transmitted through various routes, such as from mother to child during childbirth or breastfeeding, sharing needles with infected individuals, organ transplantation, and engaging in unprotected sexual activity. Approximately 2% to 5% of individuals carrying the virus may develop adult T-cell leukemia or experience other related health issues. The reasons why some individuals develop leukemia while others do not remain unclear, and the symptoms and disease progression can vary widely from person to person. Currently, there is no known cure or specific treatment for this virus, making it a lifelong condition. However, regular medical checkups can help reduce the risk of developing cancer. Next, Epstein Barr virus. It is a prevalent virus, and the majority of individuals experience infection at some stage in their lives. Typically, those infected with this virus remain in good health without experiencing symptoms. However, in some cases, this virus can lead to mononucleosis and more severe illnesses including virus meningitis and pneumonia. Epstein-Barr virus is also associated with following cancers. This virus has been linked to various types of cancer, including Burkitt's lymphoma, nisophyngeal carcinoma, a cancer affecting the upper throat, Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, T-cell lymphomas, post-transplant lymphoma proliferative disorder characterized by an excessive number of white blood cells, and N-leomyosarcoma a cancer occurring in soft tissue. While there is currently no vaccine available to prevent this infection, you can take measures to protect yourself by refraining from activities like kissing or sharing drinks, food or personal items with individuals who carry this virus. If you contract Epstein-Barr virus, there is no specific treatment. However, you can alleviate symptoms by staying well hydrated, getting sufficient rest, and taking over-the-counter medication to manage pain and fever. If you have stayed till here, don't forget to support my channel by subscribing. And do press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Lastly, Mechanisms of Viral Oncogenesis 
The molecular processes involved in viral oncogenesis are intricate and may encompass number 1 the initiation of chronic inflammation number 2 the disruption of the host genetic and epigenetic stability and balance number 3 interference with the cellular dna repair mechanism resulting in stability of the genome number 4 dysregulation of the cell cycle the ability of the oncogenic DNA viruses to integrate their genetic material into the host cell's chromosomes, causing genetic abnormalities. Number 6. The activation of cellular signaling pathways by viral oncoproteins, which can modify the expression of cellular genes and microRNAs at the transcriptional or post-transcriptional levels. These oncoproteins can also destabilize or deactivate proteins responsible for controlling cell polarity, signal transduction, immune responses, and apoptosis. Genetic and epigenetic changes induced by infection and replication of oncogenic viruses may lead to emergence of proliferation of cancer stem cells. These cells play a pivotal role in the initiation advancement, metastasis, re and resistance to chemotherapy in cancers. Understanding the significance and the underlying molecular mechanisms of specific cellular genes and signaling pathways in viral oncogenesis is currently a focal point of extensive research endeavors. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button. Thank you so much.